What's up guys? We got new camera, new mic, finally. We're testing it out in this episode, but today we're gonna be working on Anthony's 240, which I don't know if you guys can even see, because I can't see. He finally picked up an S14, and it's clean as shit. I know I mentioned it in the last video, but here it actually is. It's a 95 auto virgin. The body's pretty straight and clean. Except for a couple things. Yeah, except for a couple things, like, like right here on the back. That's whatever. He's thinking about going over fender, so it's not gonna be too bad. Um, just to fix that. Being like a lazy 240 owner, over fenders are just a, a fix, not really the actual solution. So pretty much today, we are gonna get this car running and driving pretty good. Um, we're gonna do the oil change, going to change out the front tension rods because they're kind of bent and seized and they don't align at all. So if you guys look at this side, this is the good side. The wheel is perfectly in the middle of the fender, nice and dandy. And then you come over to this side, and the wheel's like really far back in the fender. And that's with the steering wheel straight. And that's with the steering wheel straight. And that's all because he has these aftermarket arms. We tried to loosen it and align it, they really seize. So we're gonna swap that up today because Anthony, being the baller that he is on this budget build. 14. Wolf Rain hooked him up and he got some JDM tension rods. Hooked it up. This shit was still 60 bucks. Look at this crap. I'll beat the <laughs> beat to hell. Yeah, but they're pretty beefy. Yeah, they're really beefy. They're way they're way better than like stock. They're like no name though. They're from um, Japan. They're, they're from JDM as Yeah, they're, they're real like, JDM. These are pretty beefy. Like these are sick. We got like Pennzoil high mileage 10 W40. Is this even synthetic? I don't even remember. No? No. No. This is regular. This is regular. Still like 30 bucks. <laughs> budget mileage. build. So this is like a true budget build for Anthony. Um, like I said in the last video, mine was a budget build and then the budget just kind of got blown up. So well, mine was a budget build, but if you don't notice, the PBM is just kind of sitting over there. And those kind of cost half the car. How long have you had this car? Like a week? Three weeks now. But three weeks. Th what, three days after? Four days after we bought the car? Yeah, we've been doing a lot of parts runs and part shopping. So Anthony picked up these S14 uh, comp coils. The V2s, which... Rate? Like 10, 8, they're, 12, Yeah, eight? they're 10 and 8, which are like mine. They ride really nice. So happy about that he got that. He also picked up this ISR short shifter which should be dope. He's already piecing together all the parts for the manual swap. He also has- Just a, yesterday picked up. Yeah, just yesterday he went and picked up this welded diff for a really good price. And then here is the trans. He has all the, pretty much all the associated pieces. Just need a clutch. Need a clutch and uh, that's about it, right? Yeah, just, just the clutch and everything associated with the clutch. Yeah. It pretty much has everything else, all the little pieces like the bolts. slave master cylinder, the, the manual transmission bolts, the pedal, um, just about everything. The hard line's right there. He has three cross members. <laughs> yeah, three somehow band. ended up with three, three cross members. Yeah, so yeah. it's cool. It's always good to have a lot of extra parts for a 240 especially. So yeah, he also got this body kit, which we are gonna be repairing. Yeah, that'll be a good vlog once we figure out. We've never really worked with fiberglass and fixing it too much, so it'll be good. You can watch us fail and comment and see how we suck and see us get splinters in our fingers. But I'm excited to work at new things like Bondo and fiberglass. We usually do mechanical stuff, not too much body stuff. I mean, we've done paint in the past, but not like need to fix fucking broken ass stuff like this. True without zip ties, so yeah. we'll see. So we'll see, it's gonna look sick. His car is pretty much done, all he needs is wheels yeah. once we yeah. throw all these parts wheels. on. Um, but yeah, it's coming along in a short period of time. We'll do a full video on like a walk around of the car. Um, just quickly, he has a carbon fiber hood, has hood pins, um, and he picked up this car in SoCal and drove all the way back, no problem, has, uh, I think an Apexy rep exhaust. Um, interior is pretty mint. We might Interior's also- Interior's full of drug paraphernalia from the previous owner, but yeah, go ahead and show them everything. Yeah. Um, yeah, not too bad. It had a no start issue, uh, intermittent no start issue when we got it, but we kind of jimmy rigged it, so now it works. We're still testing it to make sure everything's good. Um, yeah, it is a full interior, pretty nice. 
It's got real wheels, not great wheels, but they're Enki RSEs, yeah. um, 17s, four lug. If you guys want them, holler at us. We're not, we'll probably be sold by the time this video comes out, but maybe not, so. Um, but yeah, it, it's overall pretty clean. It's a great start. Um, he picked it up for really cheap, so it's definitely worth it. He picked it up for cheaper than I got my 244, so I'm definitely happy for him. And now he can finally make all these horrible life choices like I've already we have made been. horrible life choices. Yeah, he's already dropped a lot of money. <laughs> and <laughs> he doesn't even drive the car. I so. haven't driven it since I got it from SoCal. Yeah, in so. Because the steering is horrible and the brakes are terrifying. Yeah. Anthony's the homie. He's letting me borrow his camera. I finally got a road mic, which is what I've been wanting for like ever. And I finally got it. I just need to get a camera that can autofocus. Uh, to shoot a 1080p and it's pretty much dedicated camera because I have like actual Nikons that I shoot photography with if you guys didn't already know I'm a photographer but I really don't want to get them dirty working on cars and things like that so that's why I need a dedicated camera that I can film with and it can get dirty and I don't mind so that's why I've been using like the GoPros I have an older GoPro and I don't mind that getting dirty is this the jacking point of the 240? Is it rails? Yeah, there's a right oh, there. I fucking hate rails. My old top had rails are the worst. Yeah. Rails suck. Yeah, rails suck. Which is why rails they're bent. Dead. And they bend. Bend. That's why I usually jack up by like the subframe. Well, like, now you further in. And then I put the jack there. But it's all good. It's fine. Alright, so suspension. The owner said that it's Eibach lowering springs, which we were able to confirm, actually, on the rear. I don't know about the front. Are they blue in the rear? They're red. No, they're, they're black in the rear, oh, but yeah. they, they say Eibach clearly on them. Okay, well, the These, front, I don't know. Who, know. who the hell knows in the front is? The struts are a matching set of Takiko blues, so that's cool. I mean, none of this matters considering I have those PBMs now. Uh, but the brakes are also warped. Because I don't, I don't see any lipping, but when you brake, it does not feel good. I bought from 240conversions.com the 5 lug swap, which was 190 shipped. No tax, no nothing like that. Which is pretty swell, considering all the other places. Like, everybody who's selling it and selling them in around our area want like 250 to $300. And, and, they're all, and they're all like two hours away used, so it's pretty good that I got it for 190 The only issue is that they're back ordered, so I gotta wait till mid-May, but that kind of lines up with the build dates, because I want I want to be done with this in, in May, so I figured we get the body kit, the coilovers, the car painted, probably be by the time the uh, 5 lug comes in. Yeah, and but we'll, yeah. we'll pretty much do it all together. So, I don't know if you can show them with that. We tried. It's like, it's beat up. It used to be nice blue. Yeah, we tried to break it loose, but it's pretty much seized, so. And like, notice how it's almost like, the depth over here, it's like three times more thread showing on the other side. And we couldn't, we couldn't do anything about it, so. I don't know how we're gonna do this, because we can't really get an alignment. Should we just measure it with that side? Yeah, we can measure it with that side. And then, I don't, I was asking them, I'm like, are these seized or anything? And they're like, it shouldn't be, but I don't know. <laughs> they didn't even check it. I, I don't know how to check this. So if you guys know anything about Wolf Rain, they pretty much are like the only, the main importer in NorCal, I guess you could say. Um, they import parts from Japan, but that's where I got my GTR bumper, guys. So I fucks with Wolf Rain. Yeah, me too. I just, uh, I don't know how to loosen this. <laughs> <sighs> too small. What size was that? 24, the biggest one. And it's too small. Too small. That's, that's dandy. It's one of those short episodes, guys, where we end up not doing shit because we don't have the right tapes. Where's the monkey wrench? These came off a wrecked Japanese car, and the guy had good alignment, so this might just be the length I need. So no need to change them. You know, they're not bad. They're a little short, though. A little bit short? A little short, yeah. They're, they're a little they're short. Like S, they're like S13. It adds drift angle, yo. They're S13 spec. Are they? Just covered in oil. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so... If I match those two bolts up, I'm like a good head away. So I need to pull it out like a head. Okay. At least now we know where to work. So if you guys are following along at home, we're pretty much measuring the ones that are on the good side that's aligned and making this the same length before we install it. Realistically, you'd want to go to like an alignment person and yeah. just put these on, but we used to have a hookup with that, but the person got in a little trouble, so... It's all because of our videos. They saw it and they were like, Stupid. this guy's giving up, giving free shit away. Like we can't have this. If you guys own an alignment shop in the Peninsula area and you want to be in this vlog, like, let us know. And this is why we have a table, guys. So we can actually do this kind of stuff. Except, you know. except we put shit on our yeah. table. Which is like any car garage 
shit gets put. On I don't mean, know. Should we just hit that with PB? I was gonna hit it with PB and let it slip, but I completely forgot. Am I going the right way? I have no idea. <laughs> There's so many aspects to this, because this and this are locked. That and that is another thing, and those two are another thing. So yeah. I don't know where it's anything goes. It's all locking. Okay. You got it. Doing that one. Oh, yep. it. All right. Cool. bit longer. Are we in danger zone if we go longer? Yeah. So we have to, we have to loosen the other We side. do have to loosen the other Damn it. Yeah. yeah, just needs to go a little bit longer, guys. Yeah, it's put on the ground. We'll step on it and then... No, no, it's not the wrong direction. Either that's the wrong direction or it's seized. <laughs> I know you. This is kind of pissing me off. That's not working. I could try it, I guess. Oh, yeah, who knows? Not I. At this point, oh shit. There you go. Did it? Yeah, got that one. Good job. Impressive. Yeah, yeah, that worked. All right, so applying the same principles. There we go. We got it, guys. We got it. It's all about leverage. Leverage, ingenuity. These are the tips and tricks you learn over the years of having shitty cars. We couldn't really show you because the camera wouldn't focus that close, but it's pretty, like, who would you say that's rusted? Or like, I don't know, just like sea salt. I want to say calcified, but yeah. that's not. It's like when you park your car by the ocean and you get like a lot of sand and like rust and crap. Crap, yeah. Just oxidation. Yeah, oxidation. Because in Japan, that's how like everything is. It's like fucked. <laughs> and we're like, I was thinking about this the other day. Like, it's amazing that we live in California where there's minimal rust. That's true. We were talking about that. Everyone wants a California or like rust free car, but we're right next to the ocean. True. Um, we don't have the winters and the salt roads is what destroys everybody Yeah, that's else. what fucks everybody. I don't know how you guys do it outside of California. Alright, now that everything's all clean and spins freely, we're gonna have to measure out the length on the good side and then throw it on the car. I mean, we gotta take it off anyway so we can do like final measurements. No, no. That's good. Whatever this is, is good. It fucks with that? Yeah, it fucks with that too. It's pretty good. Cool. Yep, this is, every alignment person everywhere is cringing right now. Like, that <laughs> is not accurate. Oh, we have to hammer that first too. Oh yeah. You say that, but maybe we don't. No, we don't have to hammer. We can get them. Yeah, perfectly fine. Uh -huh. No, we can. I can I'm looking mm -hmm. at it. Uh -huh. Oh wait, no, it's this one. Oh, I see. Yeah, we're fucked. So I don't know if you guys can tell in the video, but the front LCA is pretty bent. And we can't get to that front bolt because it's touching the LCA. So we're going to have to hammer the LCA. That way we can get that piece out. Um, did you want to put a wheel in something other than just the jack? Oh, okay. We're just hammering. And so we'll just go in here to our house of wheels. It's funny. said we need the yeah. jack. At times like this we mourn the loss of any jack. Yeah, we used to have three jacks, two being like low pros and then one mini, 
but the mini broke, so we no longer can use it. Thanks, Harbor Freight. All right, so got this side in, even though that thing is bent and it was a pain in the ass, but we had to we had to readjust it once it was on there just to line up that front bolt. But it went in, we got it. Um, now to do the other side. Hopefully this should fix the alignment and all the vibration issues that Anthony's having. We got this side lined up pretty well. It's actually centered now. We're only going to do this side because it's getting pretty late. The sun's going down and I have to go pick up my girlfriend. So we're just going to continue this tomorrow at Reg's. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing the clutch on my car. I picked up a white bunny clutch setup and I need to throw it on. That way we can break it in before my drift event next week. So um, that's why we're throwing it on tomorrow. <laughs>